Hello guys and welcome to tutorial 2 in this Visual Basic series. Um, in this tutorial we're going to be learning about group boxes, buttons, radio buttons, and a little bit more on labels and comments. Um, first of all we're going to go to tools and then we're going to go to group box. That should load a group, this is a group box, it should load it up on your screen. We're going to put this underneath movie selector like this and then we're going to minim or exit this out and then we're going to go down here. Okay, we're going to learn how to name these. This is called GRP, that's the name for group. Um, and then we're going to name this movies. And that's pretty much how you name it. But now we're going to change the labeling of this where it says group box 1, which you would go down here and you would type something like um, choose a movie type um, and what we're gonna do now we're gonna learn how to do radio buttons which we will go back into tools and we will find radio button which should be somewhere down here we're gonna make three of these just go ahead and click it six times and line them up pretty neat doesn't really matter um, we're going to rename all these and I'll show you how to learn label radio buttons. The name, you start with RAD, which pretty much is just the first initials or first three letters of radio button. And we're going to name this um, Comedy. And then we're going to name this one. Uh, let's see, what's another? Uh, let's do Anime. Um, and we're gonna name this one. We're gonna do an adventure. Okay. Um, now we're gonna change the actual names of these, which you go down to the very bottom to your text, and we're gonna change this to um, what do we name this one? Comedy. So this is just gonna be. And then we're gonna go down to this one. And this is anime, I think. I'm not even sure that's how you spell that. Oh well, you, you get the picture. <laughs> um, and this is adventure, I think. Yeah. Label all three of those, and you should have a group box full of radio buttons. And make sure you put it inside the group box, or it won't be considered part of that group box. Um, and next we are going to learn how to create buttons which um, will go up here and then go into tools and you should see something that says button. We're going to get, we're going to actually make three of these but I'm going to show you a little cheat that I do. Um, make one like that and say we wanted to resize this we'll just use these little things right here. You can see all these little things just like any other thing like paint or Photoshop, you just resize them like this, not rocket science. But um, we're gonna resize it to about that size, and see, I want all the buttons to be the exact same size. So I'm gonna be putting them. I'm gonna just copy each one of them by selecting it and then selecting copy or Control C, and we're gonna make three of these. And you'll see the reason we're gonna make three in a minute. And then now we're gonna make a label. So we're going to go up here and then we're going to go to label and then we're going to drag this down here to about right here and we're just going to go ahead and label this real quick. You remember the LBL um, and then this is just going to be our or choose movie amount and then we're going to go down here and we're going to type choose amount to buy and that should update like that and then we're going to rename the buttons and how you rename a button is you do btn and then you name it whatever you want to name it which we're going to name this one and you'll understand that in a minute we're just going to go ahead and do this just like this go ahead down here to text and then update the text to one and then we're going to go back up here and then we're going to name this btn Two, and then we. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I had an interruption. Um. Anyways, 
get back to labeling this, this should be 2 and this should be we're going to name it BTN3. You can name it whatever you want, but it'll be easier to follow this tutorial if you follow what I label them as. Um, this should be 3 and now we have pretty much all we need to know for this tutorial. Um, and actually before we end it, we're going to add one more label for preparation for our next tutorial. And this will take this name, label output, and this will be called total. And that's pretty much all for this tutorial. I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon.